I just had a fascinating experience. Uh, I was on a work trip and I was in a country I'd never been to before, Thailand. Mm. I was in Bangkok doing some work there. More on that later. Um, but it was fascinating. And uh, I sent you mm. a little message, Mr. Gorley. Yeah. I know you're a Bond fan. Mm -hmm. And at one point I met the floating market mm. in, uh, in Bangkok where you can get on a boat and go from market to market and buy your wares, your souvenirs, and then go on to the next market. It's this really uh, cool. famous venue. I had forgotten this, but someone, it might've been Aaron Blair, was with me because we always travel together as lovers. <laughs> and- um, That's true. Yeah. So I don't have to pay you also. That's also it's, right. It's a, just a relationship. <laughs> yes. So I'll have relationships with people just so I don't have to pay them. No, no money exchanged hands, but a lot of other stuff exchanged. Okay. All right. You do, all right. You do pay him. Yes. She be my lover. Oh, um, oh, oh. No one's going to voluntarily <laughs> lay with this old bag of bones. Yes. <laughs> so on. anyway, well, this took a- I don't why know what- Why did you do that? No, and, why did I do it? He's yeah. the one that said yes. Wait a minute. <laughs> now we're really. So here's the point. Yeah. Which is Blay mentioned, oh, this would make Gorley jealous. And before he even said anything else, I was elated because <laughs> I, I didn't know what Blay was talking about, but I was immediately happy that there was a way that you could be unhappy. And he said, this is where they shot the Bond, a famous sequence in the James Bond film, Man with the Golden Gun. And then I remembered, oh, right. Roger Moore is driving through the market and he's being chased. And I immediately remembered that. So I made a video and it must've been like three in the, or four in the morning here in Los Angeles. It was midday Bangkok and I sent it to you. Mm. And um, I hope you took that video in the spirit in which it was meant. <laughs> well, first let me clear something up. I'm not really a James Bond fan. Oh. Oh. James Bond will return. Oh my God, you're wearing a shirt that says James Bond will return. <laughs> and second of all, <laughs> Did you know we were talking no, about this today? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No. You didn't know we were no. talking about this no, today? He, just, you no, have no, a lot of James Bond Wait a clothes. minute, I, you're just wearing a James Bond shirt underneath your sweatshirt and you happen to be wearing that when we brought this up. That's true. That's sick. You're a sick person. You're a sick person. Do you feel better or worse about doing this now? I just feel like you need a, just, you shouldn't have a family. I think. Oh my I just God. think your family should be, I think Come social in. services should come by and take both your child and your wife away, <laughs> which they rarely do. They usually just take the child, but at this point, I think they should take both away. Yeah. Um, all right. So you're, I didn't, wow, that blows my mind that you, that's right. You didn't know what I was going to talk about. I mean, about. I, I'm not even going to justify it. Never mind. So I sent you a video. Yeah. And what, yeah. how did you feel when you got the video? Well. Do you want to listen to it? Yeah, let's play it here. I have it. <sighs> hey, Matt, Conan here. I am here at the floating market in Bangkok. This is where they shot that iconic uh, scenes in uh, Man with the Golden Gun. And I know that this is on your bucket list. I just wanted you to know I got here first. Psych! Now, the biggest issue I take- <laughs> Do you understand the meaning of the word psych? So were you or were you not there? Oh, you mean like it? <laughs> you blew it. I blew it. Oh. So you mean psych should have meant I fooled you. I'm not really there. Yeah, you're Saying at like not... Venice, California. Well, guess yeah. what? No, it does still make sense because I don't think I was at the exact. Lo I think the exact location was about 100 yards no, away. No. This is a very infamous scene in Bond history because Roger Moore is in a little boat chase and a little Thai boy comes up to sell him something and he face palms him and shoves him in the water. What an asshole. I know. Yeah. And this is Roger Moore. Roger Moore, who's yeah. typically the kind of friendly Bond. Yeah. Right. He's yeah. the Bond that used hairspray. And a lot of it. Yeah. A lot of it. Yeah. 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 So yes, that's, I remember that scene, him shoving a little boy into the water. Yeah. But yeah, I just wanted you to know that I got there first. You know what's worse? I've been to Thailand and I didn't even get to see that. Really? Yeah. Well, did you know that? Yeah, I just was tired. <laughs> It how tired hot. do you? It was so how hot. How tired do you have to be to not go to a Bond locale? You know what? The only thing that beats me is heat. I will if it's hot out and like humid. I don't want to go do it. It was record-setting heat when I was there, oh. and I could tell because the Thai people. I'd be walking down the street, and the Thai people were walking up to me, going, "Jesus, it's hot! <laughs> <laughs> this is freaking hot!" And I said, "Like, so you're? I'm a native. Yes, I've lived here my entire life. Good God!" And uh, yeah, did I, you go to the PP Islands? No, 
I know that sounds like a setup to a joke, but it's that's well, a setup for a joke you would do, but yeah. uh, how not about a joke poopy I, flats? Nope, didn't go there either. Okay, <laughs> that's where the the beautiful like islands stick out of the water, and that's from the end of that movie where ah, the we villain's not, layer is. I with. did not go uh, down to the islands. No, mm -hmm. did not go there. Uh, shot almost exclusively in and around uh, Bangkok, which is fascinating. It's a fascinating place. Loved it. Food was extraordinary. People are lovely. And we shot some stuff there that I think people are going to really mm. like. Happy about that. But I um, mostly, I've been battling, I think I got back two days ago. I had no problem with the flight from LA, flew from LA to Hong Kong and then to Thailand. No jet lag, nothing. Just got right to work. Landed in the morning, got right to work. And we were there for about nine days. Then came back Hong Kong to LA and my heart hasn't functioned properly. I have just been, I, I, my body's completely screwed up, mm -hmm. completely screwed up, and my mind doesn't work, and I think I'm capable of any well, crime right I now. I think that's because when you get to Thailand, you're like, oh, it's time to shoot, and then it's like your adrenaline. Because yeah. you've seen ready. me in action. I've seen you. It's not like you're going to be like, I need a nap first. You're like, let's get the camera, let's go. But when you come back here, what you don't, Shoot right. Anything. There's just a wife and a son. <laughs> oh, and they're like, "What's this all about?" Who should have their family taken away from them? <laughs> <laughs> They've called. They've yeah. called social services. They're constantly calling social services. I don't. I don't think it has anything to do with the time change I or the flight. I think it has to do with the camera pointed at your face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It is true. I was doing all this stuff that I can only do when a camera's pointed at me. Yeah. I was yeah. doing all these stunts and things that, and people were saying, "Hey, you're kind of old. You shouldn't be like, I'm fine. Roll that camera. <laughs> we just shot him in the chest, and he seems fine. Yeah. Shoot me again, so we get it from the other angle. <laughs> oh Set me up to use the word psych. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me how to use that word. I, I will say we we did, uh, and we put a picture out on social media of you kickboxing. Mm -hmm. and I, Muay, I, uh, It's Muay, Muay Thai. Muay Thai. Muay Thai kickboxing. And I should mention that although it was covered, it was completely outside. Yes. And every day we would look at the temperature and it would say 94 feels like 108. Yeah. And oh, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. God. That's what it said. And so the, with this the humidity, day, that's yeah. wet. because of the humidity, it's 108 <laughs> and it's a, it's a and wet. We did a shoot and I was just trying to get out of the way and was out of breath and sweating through my clothes. You were literally jumping and kicking. Yeah. It was insane. Yeah. And I, um, I'm fueled by uh, a terrible <laughs> hole in the middle of my soul <laughs> that, uh, yeah. just powers me on. I know. Um, but, uh, no, I did. We that was really fun. Uh, we we did all this stuff that I really enjoyed. But uh, it was, I mean, a highlight was getting to a bond site before you. Um, and now I'm determined to go and visit all the bond sites I can. It's without it's you. It's on. Without it's a race. I no, mean, no, no. You got a lot to catch up on. I've been to a lot of them. Um, first of all, I'm going to hire a cinematographer to study those scenes and prove to you that, that you weren't in the exact right place. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to spend a great deal of money. And then I am going to go to all the exact correct places and I'll get the permission of the Roger Moore estate to uh, examine all the documents necessary. Remember he died on my birthday? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. I remember. Yeah. I don't... I. <laughs> You leave my mind the minute I leave the studio. <laughs> I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. <laughs> remember he died on my Well, birthday. I only say that not because I expect you to remember that, but because when I said that before, you hit me so hard. You really hit me over the head with that fact. Mm. Yeah. So I thought maybe it did make an impression. No. no okay, great. No. I think right. the way for him to be nice to you is if you just came with a handheld think, camera. Oh, Matt, yeah. I think if you donated, uh, if you were proven to be an exact perfect match for my bone marrow and you say my life by going through an excruciating procedure, I would quickly forget about it. Oh, I, I would also never do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You understand. I would hire people to hold you down and we would extract the bone marrow using simple gardening tools. Uh, I, I would then- <laughs> There's nothing you can do about Drink it. a lot of Drano that would then <laughs> osmosize into my Drano, bone marrow. Drano, as bad as it is for your body, really does enhance bone marrow production. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, so, you've um, got me there, you evil genius. <laughs> I say petting a cat. Um, all right. Well, if you want to see a bond site, right in, right in, <laughs> right in. And uh, Gorley will tell you if he's been there or not. Bye. Psych. <laughs>